no blockers. This is gonna be amazing. Ninja to a tracks up, bam. So this is a deck we're gonna play today. It is the Ninja and the Traxa. It's a, uh, yeah, you think like, what? What's going on? And first of all, of course, Ninja is a little bit harder to play nowadays because of a lot of spot removal, but that is why we add the Traxa, which gives this deck more reach. Um, there are multiple ways to play a Traxa. The traditional way is with the Cruelty of Gix here. And yeah, Traxa such as so powerful, 7-7, seven, seven, Death Touch, Lifelink, Flying, uh, Vigilance. When it comes into play, we get a card from each type, creature, and so on. So the tr the way we try to do this, we want to cheat this card in. That is the main goal of this deck. Um, and of course, you can do that with the Cruelty of Gix, which is a five mana. And uh, we can put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield onto control. So we try to make sure that the tracks is in the graveyard. How do we get the tracks in the graveyard? We have Moon Secret Hacker here, which is a two mana two one, and then Jitsu a blue. Whenever Moon Secret Hacker deals combat damage to your player, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. Unless Moon Secret Hacker ended the battlefield this turn. So with this one we can discard it, but the main one is Kaito Shizuki, free mana planeswalk of free loyalty. We can plus one here, draw a card, and discard a card unless we attack this turn. So we can actually decide uh, how we want to do this, and this is a way to discard an Atraxa here. Minus two, we create a one more blue ninja token that is unblockable. This is actually nice for our uh, ninjitsu uh, cards, so we can, uh, because the creature that doesn't get blocked, we can use with ninjitsu. And this one guarantees this. At minus seven, we get an emblem with whenever a creature control deals combat damage to a player. Search your library for a blue or black card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. So this is also a way where we can play a Traxa with Kaito's ultimate. So as you can see, there are multiple ways to play in a Traxa, but there's one more. It is Saturo Umesawa, three mana, two four, legendary creature, ninja. Whenever you activate a ninja to ability, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. This is already really nice. This ability triggered only once each turn. So this is really nice to uh, get some card advantage. But also, each creature card in your hand has ninjitsu. Which means Atraxa has ninjitsu. <laughs> yes, you heard correct. Atraxa will have ninjitsu. And I tell you what, we did it. <laughs> We did it. We we played Atraxa with uh, Umesawa. We also played Atraxa with Gix. Uh, we didn't play Atraxa in these matches with uh, Kaito, but I mean, you sure can try it yourself and let me know if you manage. But yeah, so this is the main idea. And in an Ninjitsu deck, you usually want to have eight one drops, which is Network Disruptor, one blue, one one flying, flying, so we can actually use the Ninjitsu early on. When Network Disruptor ends the battlefield, we tap a permanent, which is nice. And then we have Thousand Face Shadow, a one mana, one one here again, Ninjitsu four, flying, when Thousand Face Shadow enters the battlefield from your hand, if it's attacking, create a token that's a copy of another target attacking creature, the token enters the battlefield tap and attacking. This can actually apply a lot of pressure if you combine it with Master Splinter here, Silver Fair Master, two mana, two two, it is our Lord, Red Ninja, Ninjitsu abilities you activate cost one less to activate, which is definitely nice. And all the ninja and rogue creatures get plus one, plus one. So there was a game against Mono Red where we raced opponent with uh, masters on the field with a master token. We had this flying and we actually managed to just race and win, uh, which is quite impressive in my opinion. Uh, so this is also the default strategy. You just race, you just try to play aggressive, right? Uh, we have also Perspective Thief here, which is a three mana ninja, a uh, three two with ninja to two. And whenever one or more ninja or rogue creatures you control deal combat damage to your player, we create a treasure. As you can see, a treasure. So there's actually a world where we can hard cast a Traxa because of the treasures. And we also have Rafine. So that, that's also a possibility. So we have four ways to play it. Gix, Kaito Ultimate, Satura Omisawa, and hard cast because of the treasures. Uh, we also have some other cards. We have two go for throat and two make disappear. Here we have a counter. Here we have a removal. Just to have some cards uh, to deal with certain threats that we have a problem with. But yeah, these are the cards we have. The deck itself is is not a tier 1 deck. I, I mean, of course not. Is it tier 2? I don't think so. It's tier 3? Yeah, it's tier 3. Uh, the deck definitely lives also from the fact that no one expects this. I tell you, no one no one expects a ninja deck first, and no one expects a ninja Atroxa deck. That that helps a lot. And 
there can be really, really nut turns if you, for example, turn one, turn two, then you already have an extra mana, you replay this, you have two creatures in play, and one that uh, does this, and then you just go from there, right? It can go really fast. The main problem is still a little spot removal. That is the main problem in the format right now, especially best of one. Maybe this could be even better best of three, but yeah, this is... I do like it. I had a lot of fun playing it. I'm just happy that I managed to do it with Umesawa. I'm also happy that I managed to do it with Gix, of course. And yeah, if you like my content and my ideas and everything, definitely uh, let uh, me subscribe here. It would support me a lot. Also, uh, commenting is also for free. Let me know your opinion. What would you add? There are other ninjas, the three mana black ninja you can add for sure. But I mean, I really wanted to focus this on this attracts a kind of thing and yeah it was super fun to me and yeah let me know what you think and enjoy the games especially the way we play it we need to have uh, the thief yeah that's a better hand we need to have the thief early on this one is important This one makes it so much easier. Yeah, okay, this just guarantees us that we should usually hit another treasure. And we have Kaito and Gix, so with Gix we can actually get a Trux on our hand and discard with Kaito. A Grasp here, which is really good for them. I blocked this one. I'm gonna block this one. And after this we try to find the fifth land. <laughs> Toulouse, okay, Toulouse. We're not attack, we keep Kaito here. We need to we need to get the gigs out. Big time. If they have Denik, then pff, be really bad. Yeah. Talia is also really bad. Fortunate. I'm gonna play this one here. But now we need to find another land here. And we can restart. We can give them shield right here, I think. We just need to find a land here. An untapped land, that's it. Go to three. And it's in our graveyard where our trucks are laying. Yeah. Try to get some good stuff. Creature. This is our artifact. Okay. <laughs> Ninja Traxel. Let's go. <laughs> no. So. I mean, not that those are not fun, but you know what I mean. Right? Monoret. Okay. Hmm. 
Monorad is super tricky. Monorad is definitely hard, especially with the Kumano on the play action, you know. Double Kumano, that's heavy. I have to play creature though. If not, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> that little disruptor here is like a confusing opponent, which is really funny. Well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So the way we win this game, or we try to win this game, is uh, by tracks, right? Okay. They kept the mana open here, they didn't even play a creature, so they have a removal, which it makes this really tricky. Base. This is so interesting. Yeah, well, I think I take it. I think I take it. I mean, I need my, my third mana here soon. And we have to get in the Thief to festivities. It's a really good card. I have really, 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 really good cards here. Two for one -ing. value value if you want to win against monoret you need the master splinters the way you would win here Jesus is you want A double creature here. This one can deal with the flyer. Or could deal with the flyer. Okay, I can play this for one blue attack. I go to six, I could play it for one blue attack. Cannot drop to even lower than this. It is already bad. I mean, this is a potential double spell next turn, so. I'm gonna naked play this here. I'm gonna block the other Kumano here. Smart. I mean, we are on five, which is not perfect, but I mean, we can deal with this held in there. Would go on two, though. Could be festivities, but I mean, I think it is. But... Tricky situation. At least our title survives. I mean, going on three is not nice, you know. Not against Monoret. Not against Monoret. I mean, if they have three damage, they shoot here, right? I mean, you cannot. 
that's what be the biggest slower in history. Still funny. Getting that creature is actually quite good. That's really awkward. We draw an attractor here. Would have been great. But we're on three, so we cannot uh, get the card out, which is a bit annoying. A flying dragon is a problem. Finding a Traxa would be huge, at least I find lands. Counter is not bad. Quite interesting. <laughs> Even if make disappear, it's not enough. Okay, that is fine. We have a blocker for this one. Okay, they have one damage to every target here. Not. Okay. Are we actually winning this like this? That would be kind of funny. I mean, we just disappear. I mean, a lightning strike is two mana. I mean, how can we survive this? <laughs> what in the world? Well, it's uh, this what it is, I guess. Huh? It is what <laughs> play against at map. And please don't lag, client. Just not now. Okay, it's lagging big time. Holy moly! <laughs> what? It doesn't look like it's lacking, but it's lacking for me a lot. A lot. I'm really trying. Uh, guys, I'm really trying. I'm not sure if it worked. Okay. Hello? It somehow worked. I have to click a lot, so they should face here. I have to click a lot, so it updates the client. It's like a, a awkward kind of lag. No blocks. Um. I mean, I take a copy. <laughs> it's okay. I take a copy here. So if we actually use this, we can get a do an another splinter, which is quite nice. A squee. Okay. Well, let's see. It's gonna be a bit racy now. At least we can block the one one. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. 
It's lacking so much. Second unblockable is also not bad. But this is the most damage we can dish out. A little bit too many Kaitos here, not gonna lie. A little bit too many Kaitos. So right now it's just a race. It's literally just a race. We have a lethal presented on board, so if they attack with Squeed, they have to use the Foundry to block. And Kaito's still around, so that's something. But yeah, removal spell, maybe another ninja would be really good. I take another master, I take another shadow too. That many cards I would take here. Yeah. Why do I really want a racing here? It looks like. Go face. Huh. Get a deal with, with Kaito here. Get to land. Hmm. <laughs> Like this, I would have a lethal next turn. I have an unblockable and I have a free, free, fly, free, free flyer. So, okay, so they go all in here, right? But that's okay. Because they cannot kill me this way. Yep, that's fine. I mean, they have, right, two damage for sure. One damage extra, three, eight. I block the ones that are not buffed. If they're all in, I can also do different blocks. Okay, let's see how they do this. They have six life, right? So we're gonna block here, here, and here. It would be optimal. Let me take three, four, five, eight. And then we just uh, attack and win, you know. Pretty simple. Okay, I mean, sometimes the ninja deck can also be really fast, as you see. Like, this is a lot of damage we managed to get uh, through Mono Red here. So, well, that's not bad. I mean, it's, it's not even our core strategy, but, I mean, it can do things, you know. Okay. Could be a world where we do it. No turn one is a bit... Unfortunate. Never mind. Okay, yeah, let's see. Getting your early ninjutsu is nice. Veteran. Good removal spell here. Cannot block ninjutsu. Sculptor. Get the thingy. Play it out again. Yeah. So we try to make sure that we get another uh, treasure here. They could play. Uh, oh, yeah, they could. They could remove the thief here if they want to. They definitely could do that. Another veteran is okay. I mean, it's not cool, but you know. You have to deal with it. No blocks. Aito. Oof.
we go to five mana, so next turn we could use cruel. We play this here. Back here. Just making sure we get the treasure. Making sure we get a treasure here. I mean, Gix is definitely something that is quite nice. With Kaito, we can go for the discard route. Or we can just play it with Umisawa, which is both fine. So we have to get it on hand. The fly here is a bit of a problem, but we can at least block a 3-3. A free free. And I will block one of the veterans easy with the thief here too. If I have to, I can tell you that. I do want to destroy the striker though. Okay. I'm a bit uh, annoyed because I cannot. Okay. We take free damage here. I really have a problem with the the thingy. And we take a trucks on our hand. So now, now the situation is like, either we get an attack through, and we play a trucks with Umesawa, or we play it with the. Yeah, no, that's the that's the way. That's the way. That is the way. Maybe Kaito and Gopher Throw would be the more uh, safe way, but I really wanna wanna have the fun part here. Come on, let us do the thing. I mean, we could have to do it with Kaito, but again, it's heavy here. Get okay, attack with them, which is okay. So get an attack through. A lot of damage. It's 12 damage. And I heal for 7 next turn. I mean, I get the card back anyways, right? So we're going like this. It's gonna be crazy you now. Why is that? Okay. No blockers. This is gonna be amazing. Ninja to a track up. Bam. <laughs> That's so stupid. Um. It's just stupid. Imagine seeing a tracks in Ninjitsu. It must be quite funny. It's not the best at Traxa, but it must be quite funny. I mean, I'm not sure if it survived this, but it is cool. It is still cool. And that's what matters. <laughs> that's what matters. <laughs> I just needed it. I mean, I could have played this way better, but this had to be done. You know, sometimes it has to be done. We are 13 life, we block 3, which is dead, you know. Especially if they plus everything, but it was worth it. It was so worth it. I mean, just attack, you win, you know. Like, it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. 
they don't even have to calculate here. Attack, you use the card in your graveyard and that's it. But I don't care. It's all about the worth. We actually managed to do it. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Then you attack. I can only block three, so you win anyways. But it was, it's all I mean need, you know? The game. It was fun. Come on, it was fun. It was definitely fun to see it. Uh, that's that's the what matters. Play against Jin and win. Jin and win. Okay. This is our hand. I had better hands, but I mean, we can keep it. Not too bad to find a removal spell there. Opponents like, what, a ninja? What is this? That's new. Yeah. Remove came out. That's the wrong land, but it's okay. Trying to go with the Kaito here. Creating a token. Wedding announcement. They found a ninja. Fine. Draw. Okay, I'm gonna play this one. This land. And we pass. So now we try to get value from our Ninjitsus. And hopefully Satura Umisawa will survive. Planes is dangerous because of lay. Falsification, okay. Sadly. Okay, another splinter. Which we will hard cast here. Draw a card here. I mean, this one would definitely be nice to get more value because they have values going on over there. Double uh, Master Splinter is not too bad though. With an unblockable that goes in and in. Else Bethos. Yeah. Sure. Let's hope it's not ossification or something. You get another token, which is a bit annoying. It is, of course, an ossification, and because your opponent is really good in this game. Okay, so now it's getting a bit tricky, right? So we're gonna get rid of this. We attack there. Okay. So this one is here. We have to think. They also have... A bank buster. Which is a bit of a problem. The bank buster is a bit of a problem. We try to put out something on the board. Could actually be quite good. Try to put as many creatures on the board now. <sighs> the cruelty of Gix can actually do something huge here. We do have a removal spell, which is quite nice. And with the hacker, we can try to find cards. So we take the damage here. Wait, what? I want to draw a card, I guess. No, 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 no. That is uh, that is an Elspeth here. 
Either it's this or it's an Elspeth, so it's an eternal wonder. Yeah. Which one will we keep? This one? Not too bad. Not too bad. I had worse things. Mm. Could have double spelled here, which is my bad. Sometimes I like keeping one back. Yeah, I should have double spelled here both, but I mean, blood wipes are still a thing. Okay, so this is the situation where Gix has to come in. Gix is important, okay. Put minus here. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Ooh, huh? I mean, we have to try it. Oh, this is really heavy. And we can trade here. Oh, that's the worst card they could have found. Wow. That's well played. That's definitely the worst card. Should have gone for one. I mean, who knows, right? There's still a world where we technically could find another land here to play a Traxxer from hand. But it's not going to be easy. So if we manage to go through their attack line, we get a treasure. And then we maybe get a track sign because they definitely don't think about a track sign at this spot. Like, there's no way they would think about this. But how do we get through it, right? <laughs> That's the main question now. This is a lot of uh, stuff. Okay. Well, we can go through it now. But I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Not sure if it's going to be enough. Another Wanderer. That's really bad. That's really bad. Yeah. GG. GG. We tried. It was still a fun game though. I think we had the... We were in a spot where it was fine, but then they valued us heavy out. Oh my gosh, we did it. We did it. I was so happy that we did the Umesawa and the Traxxer combination. And the mo... I mean, okay, we lost. I could have played it a bit different, right? So we maybe wouldn't lost, but I just wanted to do it. It had to be done. Uh, I was like just looking for that. I mean, when we played Gix, the tracks we won because yeah, it worked out well. But I just really wanted to do it <laughs> so much. And I'm glad I managed. Uh, what do you think of the deck? Do you think it's a good idea? I have actually more ideas how to cheat in a Traxa as well. But uh, this is the one I went for right now, and it's super fun. Um, you can try it out. Um, if you have, I mean, it ha it needs some rare cards, right? But it's like. It, it, it's still okay. It's still okay. But yeah, let me know what you think. And if you like the content, definitely uh, feel free to uh, subscribe. It's for free as well. You can check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord. Everything will be in the description. And I wish you a wonderful day and evening where we are. Bye, everyone.